Welcome to a video. This is a video where I'm showing you some of my sketches for certain characters, and they look kind of odd. You know, they're wearing, you know, some some cool superhero outfits. For some reason, I never gave any of them capes. Normally, I always give any superhero cape when I'm drawing them. So for some reason, I ended up not giving these ones capes. To be very frank, I just want to say the zoom, or not the zoom, the focus on this camera, not the best. It keeps unzooming all the time, but I never even darkened the picture so much. I was sketching it very lightly. It's one important step when you're drawing on paper. Sketch very lightly, draw very lightly, and once you finalize with it, then press it hard. Because sometimes when you press too hard writing or drawing, it'll be difficult to erase. You'll leave like marks on it and you can tell what it was. I remember when I would draw stuff in school and then I would erase, erase, erase. And sometimes the paper would just get bent as I erased. I erased so fast and then it would be such a problem. I think I used to draw in exam papers too, where basically um, certain places in art, I think, you get like a specific uh, paper just for drawing, just for drawing and sending that drawing. Honestly, I remember previous classes had much more tougher drawings than, for papers than we did. Anyways, she is my superhero. She doesn't look so badass yet because her arms need to be a, a bit fixed. And then we're done. Uh, as you can see, her outfit, it's, it's a two-piece outfit. The outfit goes like this, and then there's a top part as well. Now, moving on. By the way, I also did a draft of this. As you can see, this one does not look remotely close to this draft so much, besides the face and the mask and stuff. Anyways, uh, uh, let's move on to another one. Yep, she looks kind of hot, right? <laughs> very thick, very masculine. masculine. Uh, as you can see, she looks like she can bench 100 earths a day. <laughs> But obviously she's going to be a villain in this story. Now to make a villain you need, you know, some villains to have a crew. Some villains to have an army. She might have like army robot octopuses or some like uh, henchmen as well. But I'm, I'm thinking of robot octopuses. I don't know why I'm just thinking of it. Possibly because I have a lot of like games I've played in the past possibly. I can't remember. Oh, I remember why. Because... There was some, some, um, what was it? It looked like an octopus, but it wasn't. Uh, it was some kind of weird technical thing. It looked like it was made of metal. I saw it in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Basically, it's a pendant and it floats. And, and the way it floats, it's kind of like an octopus. And that's why it sticks in my head. Now I remember. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, it won't, it won't be like real octopuses, possibly metal octopuses, same like the game, but a bit different. They will have like powers or something like that. It's just that I got inspired from that game with that pendant. Don't know where the pendant came from. Anyways, here we go back to the drawings and here we have another villain. And as you can look closer, you can see she has like some kind of power thing on her hand. And then just look at her. She looks so beautiful. Like, the face and everything. I can't believe I, I accomplished this so, so much. I realized I shouldn't be doing so much of giant eyelids or eyes all together because that won't really work so much when it comes to characters like this with, with, with very uh, thin cheekbone or very thin face, you know? It just won't really work when you try giant uh, eyes. Hence why I stick with small eyes. This is where she came from. Yes, I know. Thick over here. Not thick over here. Oh, by the way, going back to this uh, drawing, this is how she looks. Look carefully on her hair, you can see some locks. The entire uh, hair is supposed to be locks, but I decided to make it short. This, how she, this is how she's supposed to look, by the way. Yeah, not so great with this draft. But this one looks much better because I drew curves on the locks, and it, it looks much more neater than this, that's for sure. Like, oh my goodness. Don't get me wrong, I won't mind having characters with locks, it's just that the way I drew it in the draft made me made it look so untidy that I didn't want to use it. But I only use it for the top. Then we have this character. Now she has a very strong cheekbone, if you look very carefully. Uh, she looks very mean, but 
um, she's basically a nurse. I tried drawing a nurse at, and for some reason it ended up turning like one of those weird ats. However, uh, as you can see, she's wearing one of those nurse, uh, what do you call it, dresses or gowns or whatever, but it's revealing in the front. You know, this is where she came from, by the way, How, uh, from this draft. And I kind of had an issue with, you know, trying to draw her lips because I kept erasing and erasing. I couldn't find a perfect way to draw the lips. And sometimes I changed the nose because it was so um, annoying. If you look carefully on her eyes, it doesn't really look so same size, but it's kind of fine. Barely noticeable, I guess. But I, I gave her a Squidward nose on the draft. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, we then go to this character. Holy moly, look at her. Look at her. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? Um, she's supposed to have more of a circular cheek over here. More circular cheek over here. However, I kept erasing and erasing because it wasn't perfect. I ended up just like giving more of a, a face like this. I do apologize about the screaming in the background if you hear it's just... I do, do, I, I'm sorry. This is where she came from, by the way. I know it doesn't look like this. Because look at this. This has details and everything. This has... What, is that, what does this have? You know? <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways, listen. She, she does remind me of a YouTuber for some reason. And by the way, this wasn't intentional to look like one of the YouTubers I watched. It just ended up becoming ran a random thing. Because she wasn't supposed to have this facial structure at all. I just erased it just to fix it because it wasn't looking perfect and then somehow she ended up looking like one of the YouTubers I watch. Which is so co cool and crazy. Then we have this character. Now, uh, I don't know how to describe this drawing. Her legs are a bit more lifted up. As you can see, she lifted uh, one leg up a bit more up than this one. Uh, she looks a bit more old or... Stuff like that. I'm sorry if I couldn't really fix so much about this. Um, it, it's just, there's, there's only so much you can do, right? Uh, has a little, what is that, chain? Not chain, uh, what do you call those things? A collar on her neck? She has one of those, you know, th those things people wear. Those collars, but it's in a weird angle. Um, she looks a bit drugged up, but no. Uh, she, she seems cool, but I don't know what else to say about her. To be honest, maybe I can fix the drawing a bit more. Do you like the face, though? Do you like the face? I think the air style is cool, but the face, it's a bit too much, you know? She looks too old, I guess. And this is where she came from. Yeah. This one at least has a bit more, uh, like, leg lifting. You can, you can tell the leg is being lifted. Over here, you can't really tell so much. Uh, that, that's the big issue. We then get to this one. This, this lady. Oh my goodness. She, she she looks so excited wearing that uh, stuff and she has like wood over here hanging up around. She has a little six pack over here and yeah, her legs are very thick. She has some little muscles over here going on. She looks very excited. She also has a cute headband with some eyes on it. So cool, so happy. She looks amazing. She looks so excited. By the way, if you're wondering why there isn't so much of Anne's, like ants like this on the drawing, uh, just remember something. I, I do have terrible uh, issues when it comes to drawing hands, so I do suck when I just draw hands. I'm sorry, I need to keep practicing. By the way, it's very dark today. <laughs> Not really, it's just inside my room, it's pretty dark. The sun is practically setting, I guess. Anyways, this is where she came from. Yeah, look at that. How did I turn that picture to this one? Really amazing, you know? And then we have this one. Holy moly. As you can see carefully, she doesn't really have hair over here. It's like shaved off. Over here, she just has one side of hair. And this is skin, by the way. The only costume is here, covering her chest, and goes right behind as well. So this and the sides are here are actually skin. So, yeah, even her arms are just showing skin. She has some socks over here. It's cool. She has a cool, uh, what do you call it? Uh, glasses and mask covering her ears and everything like that. This is where she came from. 
from this draft. Yep, that's where she came from. I'm surprised I can draw someone like this. Anyways, uh... These are like eight drawings so far, and I'm really excited for these drawings. I don't want to waste these characters, so I will try my best to put them in some comic book. So far, I'm, I'm going to put all of them besides that one I showed you first. All of them um, besides the one I showed you first are going to be burns. So, yeah. But uh, the second picture I've shown you, that is going to be like the main villain. But the others are going to be like different types of villains you'll face. Uh, anyways, basically that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this amazing video. I don't know what else to say to be honest. I really am glad I did. I did some drawings. I really am glad I at least I got some stuff done. I wasn't really planning it today. In fact, I never really planned to do anything like this today. And see how the day went like this, you know. As you can see, I got a few more fixings to do with this character, and that's basically it. And there we go. I am so uh, happy to do draw these characters. And I'm more happy to draw them on paper. It's much more better to draw them in paper, in my opinion. That's that. I'm not going to be wasting any more time on this video and just say, Hey, paper is fun. Because it is fun to draw on paper.